All right, so here she is, 2240SX. It's a dual console. Um, only 22 feet, but this thing looks so big on the trailer. Uh, and it feels so big on the trailer. Uh, when it's in the water, it doesn't feel as big. Um, but yeah, here she is. So one of the things that I did was I wrapped it, which I probably should have learned how to use it. This is my first boat. So I probably should have learned how to use it a little bit before wrapping it because I've already like messed up the wrap quite a bit. Um, I don't even know how. I mean, I had bumpers on it when I was docking it and it was pretty smooth, but um, like even just mounting it on on the trailer kind of damaged it. So if you're thinking about wrapping your boat, just know that, you know, it's pretty sensitive. I think, you know, a paint job with a, with a gel coat on it, you know, probably be a bit more durable. Uh, what else did I do? This is uh, bottom paint, right? So the bottom paint that was on it, this boat when I bought it was sitting for eight years. So, you know, I kind of sanded it lightly on the bottom and uh, I put bottom paint just because it had bottom paint already, right? So I, I got this um, bottom paint from, God, it's called Vivid. Um, and it's kind of like a hybrid of trailerable uh, bottom paint and just regular bottom paint. Whatever, it's supposed to stay nicer on the trailer. So there it is. We'll see. Um, all right, so let's get on here. So I did do a repower. I have uh, some Suzuki's uh, 115s, which was a headache. This whole, this whole process was a headache. You know, I had to have the new design is different from the, the ones that the boat came with. This had a 115s originally. I had to do a four inch jack plate, right? And then that messed up like the whole steering kind of situation, right? So if you're gonna do this, you're probably gonna have to redo your steering anyways. Um, so you might wanna go with the dual, the dual valve ram uh, setup. Um, here's another look at it. Four inch jack plate. And then we'll, we'll climb up here and we'll, we'll take a look at the steering setup. So as soon as I kind of redid everything on this boat and the only thing I didn't do is the steering and our first time out, you know, everything was going great until we were returning home and then I lost complete steering. I had to get towed in. This, like I said, this is my first boat. So I'm sure some of you guys can, you know, bring this thing home just using the engines, but that's not me. So, so here's the setup. It's a very tight fit. Like you can see on this side, it's like basically touching, right? And I'm not sure if that's the way, if it has to do with the way the engines were mounted. And then on this side, you know, it's really tight too. But there is, Okay, so there's a part number. You can pause the video and kind of jot it down. Um, but these are specifically made for catamarans. So spend spend a little bit extra. You're already spending all this money anyways. Um, and get the right ones. These are made specifically for catamarans. Um, there's a cheaper version um, that's kind of the same, but it's not made for, for catamarans. Um, as you can see here, they ran the hydraulic hoses right through the old... Uh, rubber boots uh, for the steering and this was only possible because I had the four inch jack plate uh, I've seen this done on other boats and for some reason they didn't need the jack plates they might have been older engines I'm not sure uh, but they had to close this hose I mean this hole and run the hydraulic hoses kind of through here just put them through the fiberglass um, so so yeah, that's the setup. Then here on this side, you can see it's just really, really tight. Um, but from what I understand, it doesn't matter. It can be as tight as 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 it needs to be because you know it's just a cylinder in the middle that, that moves back and forth. So they had to like cut a piece of my rub rail off and everything. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but. I haven't even looked in here yet. This is where the old steering is. So I guess here they have the tie bar. So all that's new. That's where all the hoses run into. That's the tie bar. And they put a plate there, which is cool. I haven't looked in there yet, so it's cool to see. And from what I understand now, so five turns of the wheel 
gets me a full a full turn from one side to the other uh, which definitely beats what I what I had before and I also had them put in a new helm since we were at it I mean what's the point of you know keeping the old helm right as you can see I kind of like redid everything on this new radio by the way if you're getting one of these radios the cover doesn't come with it so you have to order it separate which is kind of silly so got a new radio this I had a custom made um, I, f I even forget what was down there but I have this custom made so I can put the stereo and then I have kind of like this little glove box here and that's just nice to you know be able to throw your phone in there and you know your wallet or whatever it might be I had uh, custom switches made which wasn't as, as expensive as I thought um, or maybe it was I mean I think with the custom dash because I, I had these switches done I think it was like 1200 bucks and then they also did this custom uh, back plate for the dash Let's see if I can loosen it so I can show you guys so much for not making the video long it feels like this is gonna be a long video <laughs> okay so that's what that's what it looks like right so we have the new Sinrad with the transducer the digital gauges I did the drive-by wire um, I forgot what was here. I think the gauges, the old gauges, were in these speaker holes. We're, in, we're, we're right here where the speakers are, and then I kind of just put the speakers there. Because uh, this boat only had, when I bought it, it only had these speakers up here, which I also replaced. These are Fusion, Fusion speakers. Okay, so here's a new throttle. I didn't do new fuel gauges. I, honestly, I didn't even think about it. I mean, I've, I've came this far. I should have just done them. Um, new ignition, we have a new steering wheel, uh, new compass. So, and so after doing all that, my seat started falling apart. I tried to adjust it because uh, it was kind of uncomfortable, you know, driving the boat in the position it was. So I tried to adjust it and those black knobs there on the old one just kind of fell apart in my hand. So I had them put in a new pedestal and I'm going to install this seat now. I got it on Amazon, it's beautiful, and it has the bolster. Um, so you can kind of lean on it when you're kind of cruising. Because um, in this in this boat, you know, when you're sitting down looking through the windshield, it's a little, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, I didn't I didn't know I've come this far, I'm just gonna deal with it. Uh, most, chances are I'll probably just lean up on this. Um, comes with a little boat cover, a little seat cover, I mean. And what else can I show you guys? Let's see what else have I done? I put on you lights. So under, under the gunnels here, we have uh, blue LED lights. Um, and I think if anything, I mean, those are just kind of, I don't know how much night cruising we're gonna do, but uh, just for when we're at the dock, uh, you can kind of, everybody can kind of see what, what they're doing. I have, uh, let's see, I did, did new, new fuels, uh, water separators, new batteries, I mean, this thing, this thing is basically new. New shower hose. The other one was leaking and falling apart. I put these stainless steel cup holders, which are pretty nice. Um, let me see what else. I had to put these new lights on. Let me see. I had this custom, it had, it had this custom kind of hard top on. So I had to put those new LED lights. The other ones were really, really dim. Um, let's see what else. I guess that's it. I mean, you know, just lights, just little things all around that kind of add up a lot. I mean, the amount of money I spent on this boat, you think you buy like a boat that needs like a ton of work and you buy it thinking you're getting a deal, but by the time you put, you know, everything on it, um, it adds up, it adds up quick and it's, and it could, it could turn out to be a lot. So, and I still haven't even upholstered the seats, which is like another five, six grand. I, I, can't, I can't believe how, just how expensive it is. That's why I bought this seat. I would never like upholster the old one. Uh, this one's much nicer. And this was like less than 300 bucks, believe it or not, on Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but for 300 bucks, less than 300 bucks, you know, a couple years down the line, I'll just buy another one. Um, so, so yeah, I guess that's it. You know, this is my, our first boat um i'm here in naples florida so we're here in the gulf but we're gonna be traveling traveling to the to the keys i wanted to get a 26 footer 
uh, but since it is our first boat and I'm learning on it uh, I figured a 22 would do would be easier to a trailer uh, maybe maybe not I, I don't know so but yeah this is it wish us luck if you have any questions feel free to reach out um, just comment below I, I guess um, and yeah if you have any questions about all the stuff that I did to it uh, or if you need like recommendations or referrals if you're in the area I'd be happy to help all right hope this uh helps and oh and by the way so this whole setup back here it came out to like five grand right with parts and labor um and this is from a mechanic who i just spent like 30 grand <laughs> for the engines and everything else that i did so he kind of gave me a break but to do this it cost it cost five grand with parts i got 15 percent off parts and it was five hours in labor at 165 dollars um, so that's what you're kind of looking at. I can't see it getting much cheaper just in parts alone. Um, I can't see it getting much cheaper. So that's what you're looking at. You're looking at about five grand to, to redo the steering, but hopefully this will last for years and we'll, we'll have this boat for years and it'll make sense. Otherwise, uh, not a great investment. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. All right. I'll see you around.